Good morning and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I think this morning I'm going to actually film my breakfast. I'm going to film making my breakfast because I haven't done like a cooking video in a long time and you can clearly see I'm getting used to a new fringe. Ah. Okay, I put my you guys on my tripod because this is not going to help me while I cook. We need bread, so we're going to put bread in the toaster. I am using our Albany Altamina Altamal, I don't know, Altima, Altima, rooibos and rye brown bread. Today I'm going to make what my dad and I call slow scrambled eggs. But before I do that, I need to put the coffee on. Come this way to the coffee. I forgot to start filming again, so you guys missed the scrambled eggs, but it's a fine. It's a fine. Um, you basically just on really, really low heat or medium heat, you slowly scramble the eggs or like whisk them. And then when you're happy with your consistency, you put like cream cheese in or plain cottage cheese and it stops the cooking. So here's my eggs. You can see there's some cream cheese in here. Mix it up. And that's scrambled eggs, even though you didn't really see me cooking the scrambled eggs because genius me forgot to turn on the camera. Ay, my word. Millie, why don't you remind mommy? Why don't you remind mommy to turn the camera on? Why didn't you tell me? You should have told me my camera was off, princess. 
Ja. Now I'm gonna go find something to watch on Netflix. I think I was still watching a Cinderella story, the one with um, Hilary Duff. So I think I might just finish that quickly. Hello. I want to do something to my journal. I need to add another page into it. So I teared a page out of the back of this one because if you see, I have used this diary as a, this journal as a diary up until a certain point there. So this half is diary, this half is blank paper, and I've been tearing paper out to use in here. I'll show you some examples. So this where I did the reading goals, I used that and I cut that out of that paper. So that paper is coming in very handy. I thought I was going to be so sad because I'm like wasting half a journal. And then I actually used it to fix a mistake. Where did I do it now? Over here where I said date. I wrote dated. So I actually just cut out a piece of paper and stuck it on. I don't even know if you can tell. But yeah. So now I actually decided I want to do an index of these thingies <laughs> of each year of the reading journals of the reading review thingies these so but now i didn't do it with when i was designing it so the best place to be would to put it in between here right um it would be to put it in between here because I don't want to put it here and I want it before the 2022 page and I can't put it in here. So yeah, um, I'm going to cut off this edge and try and use my green washi tape and I'm going to stick that in there and make an index for 2021. And then in 2022, I'll just plan it. Oh, this lighting is horrible. Focus. Oh. Bad lighting is driving me nuts. Um, and then when I plan 2023's one, I will plan the index into it in the rest of the book somewhere. So the index for me will be in the beginning of each year, not in the beginning of the book. And then I'm going to number the pages. So I'm going to start numbering them as this one being number one, because technically it is so the index page will be an extra page so i'm going to do that and then i do want to do a final flip through of my bullet journal when i'm done with it um i just don't think i'm going to do it in this vlog and then i'm only going to start filling it in next year in january and that's also going to be like a whole other video so yeah that is it for now